I want to teach you how to start a business online the right way so you'll be fine. I know that business can be really scary, but if you follow these steps, you'll feel really merry. I created this class so you don't have to worry. You can take this class while eating chicken curry. I believe in you. I believe in your success. And if you work really hard, you can be your very best. On this journey, just know you are not alone. Simply watch the videos and pick up the phone. Call me if you ever need a helping hand because I'm a DACA Consulting is your biggest fan. Hey guys, so if you've been following along for the class, I just completed step number nine, where I talked about some of the different ways you can get products for your business. Now we are on step number 10, where I will be talking about the different selling platforms that you can use to sell your products or services online. So let's get straight into the video. So what are some of the different types of online selling platforms? Well, there are website builder platforms like Wix, Shopify, Squarespace, Weebly, and WordPress. Then you have selling platforms that allow you to sell your products directly on their platform like Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Depop, and Etsy. Some people even utilize platforms like Facebook Marketplace to sell their products directly to customers as well. Now, realistically, it's good for you to do research on the best type of selling platform for your personal business because some items sell better on some platforms over other platforms. And some platforms don't even allow you to sell certain items. So for example, if I wanted to sell furniture pieces online, I would personally create my own personal website and I would also sell on Facebook Marketplace. Now with that same business in mind, I would not be able to create a Poshmark account for my furniture store because Poshmark's policy does not allow you to sell furniture on their platform. So it's good to do your research to find the best platform that would work for your business. As a side note, from my personal experience, if you plan to have a long-term business, I always recommend having a personal website, even if you plan to use selling platforms like Poshmark, because you're able to build more of a community around your brand, and you're also able to have more security with your business. Other platforms can kick you out of their website or app at any time, and they have control over how you run your business on their platforms. But with your own website, you're in control of your policies and how you choose to run your business. Stay tuned because later in this video, I will talk about some of the pros and cons of each option so you guys can make an informed decision as you select your selling platform. So out of all of the platforms available for you to sell on, what are some of the most highly rated selling platforms? Well, according to Forbes Advisor, eight of the best website builders for this year are as follows. Wix is number one with a 9.9 .9 excellent rating. Bluehost is number two with a 9.9 .9 excellent rating. Squarespace is number three with a 9.8 excellent rating. Web.com is number four with a 9.7 very good rating. GoDaddy is number five with a 9.6 very good rating. HostGator is number six with a 9.4 very good rating. Nexus is number seven with a 9.2 good rating. And Weebly is number eight with a 8.9 good rating. Now I noticed that they didn't mention popular website builders like Shopify and WordPress in this list. So I will attach a screenshot of the ratings for those two platforms. And I'll also attach the direct reviews in the next clips so you can read more information there as well. Now, when it comes to platforms that allow you to sell your products directly on their website, CNBC ranked some of them as follows. So Facebook Marketplace was ranked as the best platform to sell everything without fees. Etsy was ranked as the best platform to sell handmade and vintage items. Depop was ranked as the best platform for selling clothing. 
Mercari was ranked as the best platform for selling home goods. eBay was ranked as the best platform for selling specialized goods. And Poshmark was ranked as the best platform for selling luxury clothing. So what are some of the pros and cons of selling on your own website? Well, as mentioned earlier, one of the pros is that you have more control over your business. So when you have your own website, you can set your own policies. And as long as you're not selling or featuring anything illegal, there is a very low chance of your website ever getting shut down. Another major pro is that you're able to build your own personal brand easier and you can create a community and retain long term customers better with your own website. Another pro of having a website is that you have more creative control over the appearance of your selling platform. And people will tend to take your business more seriously when you have your own website because it's presented more as a personal standing long term business than a side hustle. Now, some of the cons of having a website is that usually building a website is not free. So you will most likely be paying monthly or yearly to have a website. Now, some people choose to build a website from scratch instead of using a website builder platform, but for the most part, you will still need to spend money to have your own website. Another con of having a website is that for the most part, if you are creating a website without a professional, you will need to put a lot of effort into making your website look professional and trustworthy. The way you set up your website and affect people psychologically can either positively affect your website and increase your sales, or it can negatively affect your website and decrease your selling potential. So your setup, your color choices, your images, your fonts, and etc., are extremely important. Unfortunately, some people don't have the time, knowledge, or creative interest to set up their site properly, so that can become a con for them. Now, one of the biggest cons I'm going to mention is that when you have your own website, you are now responsible to draw traffic to your site, which can be challenging. If nobody knows about your business, you can't make any sales. So the advertising methods that you utilize are very, very important. And as a pro tip, I would say that your website design and setup and your advertising actually work hand in hand. If you create a website that's not professional, no matter how much money you spend on advertising and traffic you bring to your site, you will not see your highest sell potential because if people go on your site and your site does not look professional or trustworthy, they will not be encouraged to shop on your website. So the way you set up your website is very, very important to the success of your business. Okay. I actually have a client that I met up with recently and we were discussing her sales and you know, once I did an audit on her site, I figured out what the problem was because her site was not professional. There was a lot of details that she was missing. So even though she was spending so much money on advertising, it wasn't being reflected in her sales because her site did not look trustworthy. So it's very important to take this part very seriously as you create your website. So what are some pros and cons of selling on another company's platform? Well, one big pro is the traffic that you can potentially get on your products. The company you use is most likely already paying for advertising. So that's typically one less thing that you have to worry about. Now, keep in mind that on some platforms, you may still choose to pay for advertising to increase your sales but you will typically not spend as much as you may need to spend if you're selling on your own personal website. Another pro is that typically you will be protected from things like customer chargebacks. So usually when you're selling on another company's platform, they are the middleman between you and the customer. So after you've gone through the transaction and they've released the funds to you, even if a customer decides to do a chargeback, they would deal with the customer directly. So you are typically protected from things like customer chargebacks. Now, one con about using these platforms is that it's hard to build a community. Once someone shops with you, they usually don't remember your page name and most people won't shop with you again or become loyal customers 
even if they enjoyed their shopping experience with you. For example, most of the time, if someone purchases an item in your Poshmark store and someone else asks them where they purchased their item from, they will typically say Poshmark instead of your store or page name because they don't identify or see you as a freestanding business. Another con is that the platform you sell on has control over your business. So regardless of your personal policies, they can accept customer returns or close your accounts at any time. Another con is that you have limited control over your shop design. Most platforms come with a standard design, so typically the only way you can show your brand style or colors is through your product pictures. Now, another con is that people tend to take you less seriously and see your business more like a side hustle when you don't have a website and you only sell on other company platforms. This viewpoint can potentially negatively affect the amount people are willing to invest into your business if they feel like it's just a side hustle. Now, one of the top cons is that a lot of selling platforms will charge you a fee and or percentage after your item is sold on their platform. So for example, if you sell an item that is under $15 on Poshmark, Poshmark will charge you a flat fee of $2.95. But if you sell an item that is $15 or more, Poshmark will take 20% of the sale. So it's good to do your research and check the fees of a selling platform before signing up. Now, one thing I personally did with Valamion was I had my own personal website and I also used other selling platforms as well. Now, it did come with its own challenges, but overall, that's what worked for me. So now we are done with step number 10, where I talked about the different places you can sell your products or services. If you're interested in having a website built for you or you want to receive a website audit, I will attach links for you below so you can access those services. Now, if you need overall one-on-one -on -one help with starting your online business, I will also attach a link below where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call. Now, in the next video, I'll be talking about step number 11, which deals with marketing your business. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Until next time, ciao!